What was described as the world's largest lockdown caused the largest exodus since the creation of independent India in 1947. On March 24th, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced a complete lockdown. He said it was India's only option to limit the spread of the coronavirus. It's to save India and every Indian, to save you, to save your family. The lockdown immediately highlighted the inequality in the country. As many people rushed to grocery stores to stock up, homeless shelters struggled to feed the millions of daily wage earners who lost their livelihoods after businesses shut. And hundreds of thousands of migrant workers started walking to their home states, often hundreds of kilometers away. We are taking all the precautions the government told us to. We wash our hands, use sanitizer, wear masks, don't talk to people, keep a distance. But what about the government's responsibility to us? At least we'll have something to eat and drink at home. The government said it would spend $22 billion to help 800 million of India's poor. Prime Minister Modi apologized to the nation for the hardships the lockdown had caused. Hardships which brought out the best and worst in Indians. Community kitchens fed thousands, police officers distributed food. But in many places, police also beat and humiliated those they said were violating the restrictions. We came to buy groceries at about five or six o'clock, but police chased us with batons. In the state of Uttar Pradesh, police themselves became targets as they tried to enforce the lockdown, while municipal workers in the same state sprayed migrants with bleach. And medical workers fought not just the coronavirus, but also the stigma that comes with it. Some were physically attacked, others evicted from their homes. And after a Muslim gathering in Delhi led to a rise in the number of cases, Hindu nationalists blamed the religious minority for the spread of the coronavirus, leading to attacks on Muslims around the country and one death. Facing so many challenges, Prime Minister Modi addressed the country again 10 days into the lockdown, asking Indians to turn off their lights and light a candle in a show of solidarity. There was no mention of the exponential rise in the number of cases as a result of increased testing. We're starting with a very low availability of of medical professionals, of, of uh, nurses, uh, hospital beds, ICUs, ventilators and so forth. And there's been a massive procurement exercise that's been underway. As the number of infections rose, the government converted sports stadiums and trains into quarantine facilities and created containment zones. Experts believe India is still at an early stage of infection, but the lockdown has already created a humanitarian crisis and driven the unemployment rate up from 6 to 23 percent. It's also highlighted inequality, religious tensions and a healthcare system that isn't equipped to deal with a pandemic. The following weeks will tell if the recent mass movement of people will also accelerate the spread of the coronavirus from India's cities to its rural heart. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.